Good morning everyone. Uh, today I will be doing a quick video on how to automate uh, send a file attachment when the file is created in a folder. So first of all you need to have a OneDrive personal or OneDrive business. So I am going to show you how to um, automate uh, sending of uh, a, a file which is which is created in a folder in a OneDrive so for example uh, I will put a file into OneDrive personal documents right then I will get an uh, email right saying that my my file has been uh, my folder has been created and uh, the file is sent to my uh, email or sent to anyone's email hello everyone my name is Hao Zhong I'm here to help you to use office work tools such as Excel and Power Automate if you think my videos are helpful please help me by subscribing to my channel thank you so the first step is you need to use this uh, when a file is created uh, this is a power automate microsoft flow it's a cloud environment so what you do is you find this trigger uh, which is when a file is created you can either use onedrive dash personal or onedrive uh, business right then uh, your folder so this this folder uh, is the folder that you will put your new file into so you will need to pick the onedrive folder so for in, in this instance i use uh, documents folder so i just click on it then uh, advanced for options you can uh, include subfolders right and then uh, you need to infer content type then the next is you send an email right you can use also use the send email via outlook so for this instance i use uh, gmail so i use a gmail function so send email v2 to my email subject file updated or file created right anything that you want um in the body you can say c attach or anything that you want to put in and then over here very important attachment name right you click on the, the add dynamic content you select your file name then attachment content select your file content and then attachment content tab you choose your file content content type right then you click on save All right once you click on save you can test the workflow uh, manually All right then you can uh, save and test so i was testing the uh, workflow just now and uh, when i put a file uh, an email was not sent out so what i do is uh, i change the environment to a to a different environment and then uh, recreate the workflow and uh, this time it works um, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes for power automate to realize there's a new file in the folder and uh, send me an email so what i'm going to do is uh, to do a test again uh, so i am going to put a file into this uh, folder then uh, I am going to wait. So the time is 9.58 a.m. And uh, the flow has not started. Um, I will report back once it's uh, once the flow has started and uh, I get an email. 
So I've tested it uh, amazingly. I've got a email at 10 o'clock. So it's about two minutes of uh, wait time. Uh, since uh, I put the new file into the folder. So if it's not working for you, just remember to change the environment and uh, just be patient with it. Um, previously in my previous environment, right, which is not working, but during the test stage, uh, when I say test stage, it's um, over here. When you click on test, it was working like very quickly. But then when I do the real live test, it, it doesn't work. So that's why I changed the environment. Okay, so I hope this video has helped you. Please give this video a like and uh, please remember to subscribe um, if you, you like this video. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a good day. Bye-bye.